Jimmy Caldwell here, one minute out. As you can see, I'm in a vehicle. Let's talk a little bit about different tactics or techniques to get out of our vehicle or things that we may encounter while we're in our vehicle. You know, road rage is obviously a big topic. We've all experienced it. Uh, we've seen plenty of videos of people getting drug out of their cars or fights happening inside of a car or just different situations. So we always wanna be aware of our surroundings and know what's going on. So number one, take that cell phone when you get in your car and throw it in a box somewhere, all right? Don't worry about being on it. I, I constantly am driving down the road or at a stoplight and everybody stops at the light and then they're on their phone not paying attention. What can easily happen is you may not even know it because you may have been on your phone or not paying attention and you cut somebody off in traffic. You pull up to that stoplight, your head is in your phone. Next thing you know, you're getting drug out of your car, right? And, and somebody's awfully mad at you. Now that leads me into another topic of, you know, where do I carry my pistol? I, I carry my pistol on me all the time. So here I've got my CNG holsters. This is my Mod 1 with my PDP with Aimpoint Acro. And of course I've got my spare magazine. So I have everything I need right here on me at all times. I don't keep my pistol on any type of a holder or next to my seat because in that exact situation, you're not paying attention. Somebody could drag you out of your car. What good does your pistol do to protect you if it's in your vehicle and you're not even within arm's reach of it. So always keep your pistol on you. All right, another thing that we need to think about is, let's say I pull up to that light and some guy in front of me or I notice behind me in my mirror is getting out of their vehicle. The first thing that I do is I remove my seatbelt because I do not want to be stuck inside my car and stuck inside my seatbelt because in that rush of trying to get out or do something, you know that seatbelt's gonna lock up and tighten up and then you can't go anywhere. There's a couple different techniques to do this. All right, number one, the way that you do it every single time, right? That's the muscle memory. So we just come over here and just pop the button and then kind of get out of our belt. Now the only downside to that is we could get hung up with this arm inside the belt. So one of the things that I like to do is just take this arm and just swim it underneath the belt. So once it's underneath, now once that belt pops, it's gonna clear, I'm totally free, right? And I can get out of the vehicle. So as soon as I see somebody get out of a vehicle at a stoplight or some situation where I'm like, why is that person getting out of a car? I'm getting that seatbelt off me in case I need to do something, draw my pistol or get out of my car. Now, if I had to do something immediately, somebody got out of their car and they are, I brandish a weapon right away, all right, that seatbelt's already off. Here's one thing to think about. And I think a lot of people don't even consider this, but once that person becomes an immediate threat to you, I'm gonna draw that pistol, get out, and I'm going straight through my windshield. That is the quickest way for me to get rounds downrange or get rounds on that person that means bodily harm or death to me. Taking that extra time to get out of the car and then face them, now you've just shown them your intentions. So as soon as they become a threat to me, I'm going straight through that windshield and I'm gonna deal with it because this is my life or my family's life that's at risk. Now, once we've removed that seatbelt and that person is coming and is kind of irate, I may step out of my car just so that I have a better advantage. Now, if they happen to come all the way up on me at this point and then they brandish a weapon, then it's just coming out and I'm right on them, all right, from here. But the big thing is practice this, right? Like everything that we do, whether we're at the range or we're dry firing, make sure for whatever gear you're wearing that day, whether it's your Mod 1 from CNG or you've got your outside the waistband holster, whatever setup that you run, just make sure that you practice it. Go through some different dry fire drills. Make sure you're familiar with getting that seat belt off of you and you're familiar with the vehicle because a lot of times that we travel and we're in a rental car or something. If we're carrying on us, make sure you understand where the locks are to get unlocked and locked in the vehicle and where the handle is to be able to get out. So all in all, just make sure that you guys practice everything, know where your gear is, keep your pistol on you, not in some holder because it does you no good if you can't reach it.